vintage and estate jewelry business most of my life, since I was 15, and uh, on the wholesale level, traveling international, living overseas, we've basically been supplying retail stores and dealers all over the world for about 35 years. About a year, a little over a year, a year and a half ago, my wife and I decided to launch an e-commerce site called Trumpet and Horn. We get a lot of, uh, a lot of press, a lot of fashion, a lot of celebrities following us and becoming customers and everyday people. It's a, it's a great place and a great environment for people that don't live in New York or London to find great vintage jewelry. We specialize in engagement rings. The newest pieces are generally from the 1950s. The oldest pieces will be from about 1830 to 1840. But the neat thing is, they're all individual. You go to a mall, you go to a regular jewelry store, they have 500 rings and you pick out which one you want and you order it. Here we have 500 different rings and everyone's actually different and they're all one of a kind. We can never find the same ring twice. And it's really special. They all have a story and we like to say, we let the next customer create its next story. It's all done online and we, we have a huge web presence and a huge social media presence. We do a lot with Pinterest and Twitter and a lot of the blogs pick us up. We do a lot of stuff for the Oscars, the Emmys. We supply a lot of the fashion magazines for photo shoots and fashion shoots. And the process is easy, it's fun. I mean, we get thousands of viewers a day. And if you like something, people can buy it, give their credit card, buy it online, or call one of our concierge, ship it to them. They have five days to decide if it's, do they love it? And if they do, great, they keep it. If they don't love it, we ship them a mailing label back. They send it back and we get a, give them a full refund. But most people, 98.5%, keep it and love it. A really unusual and unique thing about our products are it's really the ultimate recycled luxury good. These products have been made decades, if not centuries ago. So, you know, people can feel good about wearing luxury, but not feel guilty about a 10 year old boy in Africa mining the gold. These are things that were manufactured when, you know, in a different time, in a different era. You know, there's no conflict with our diamonds. The only conflict with our diamonds is sometimes the women want a bigger one. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> we're good.